Hello there, this is Feb, BinaryOptions.com and we are continuing our Binary Options Academy project and today we're going to discuss one of the most important things in trading I'm talking about having a trading plan or the importance of a trading plan if you don't have a trading plan you are lost and no one wants to deal with that why it is important to have a trading plan and even more important to respect the trading plan because a trading plan will help you avoid over trading so helps avoid over trading and over trading is extremely risky it will end up you will end up taking multiple positions that in the end go against you and you are busted and also having a trading plan requires discipline but discipline leads to control so discipline and discipline we know now that leads to control how to have a trading plan when you trade binary options well let's make some uh, clear steps so discipline leads to control let's have some clear steps on what to do first of all let's imagine that this is our trading account let's make it like this let's make it of a, of a more friendly color so this is the trading account Trading, trading account. Well, if this is the trading account like this, now it doesn't make any sense to go and invest all the money that you have in a trading account in any one option. That is extremely risky. Plus, you gotta take into account the opportunity that binary options offer in the sense that you should risk only or proportion a proportion of your account, and the outcome it is also proportion wise. So. Let's assume that the account has, I don't know, let's give a, a fair number. It is um, 1,000, 1,000 something. So 1K, 1,000 something. I don't know, euros, dollars, whatever, Australian dollars, whatever you feel comfortable in, uh, in having in your trading account. The first thing to do, or the first step, number one, is to look at the economic calendar look at the economic calendar and based on what the important economic news are ahead of uh, ahead of you in the next week for example you may have bank of canada with the rate statement you may have reserve bank of australia so if you're not feeling comfortable with your technical analysis regarding the canadian dollar or the australian dollar then you should avoid those currency pairs look if you have a u.s driven uh, important event because if you have a u.s driven event in front of you then maybe the safest place will be is to trade crosses is not to trade the majors that have the u.s dollar in them as well so look at the economic calendar for picking what to trade the basically um, the financial product that you want to trade second Number two, decide on the technicals, on the technical analysis, what are you trading? If you are trading based on an indicator then, or on an oscillator, then you look for divergences. But if you trade divergences, then you look and adjust the time frame according to your expiration date that you want to pick. Um, for example, if you look of, if you look at the divergent or at a divergence that appears on the daily chart, it doesn't make any sense to trade lower time frames or smaller expiration dates because um, you will uh, you will uh, guess the direction and you will not simply trade. So decide on the technicals basically for adjusting the expiration date. For adjusting the expiration date. Number three, amount to invest each and every week. Again, it doesn't make any sense to invest the whole 1k in one week. Let's say for or per week we want to trade $100. That's it. So 100, whatever the currency is going to be, 100 per week. 
Now, if this is 100 per week, and we already made both fundamental and technical analysis, I don't know, Elliott Waves or Gartley or whatever the, uh, whatever the technical analysis is, then you decided to invest this, this amount of money. $100 or euros or, or Australian dollars or Canadian dollars, whatever. Again, it doesn't make any sense to invest all those money into one single option because you want to spread the risk. Plus, binary options are, of, are offering a percentage-wise re wise return. So 80% out of 100 is the same 80% out of 10 different options of, of $10 an option. We'll give you more details on the second part, so stay tuned here, don't go.